We've designed a lot of the collection. We're at casting today, searching for the girls for our presentation on September 6th. This girl we had try on, she, was, she had a very high pitched voice, I remember. Uh, I didn't she like seems shorter. I didn't like shorter of to the pool of people that we see, which will probably be in excess of 100, we'll choose 20. We're not afraid of big ears, we're not afraid of one eyebrow. <laughs> we kind of welcome interesting qualities in girls that make them beautiful. She's shorter, but I like her. We look for a quality in the girls that suggests a woman, a woman in any age bracket. So we like it to be kind of as democratic as possible. Not so young, like healthy body. When we're selecting girls through the casting process and they do end up in three different piles. The left pile is yes, the middle pile is the middle pile, and then the right pile is I'm afraid not. Allocating those piles is a very delicate one. The girls usually have no idea. It's sort of a ranking system, pretty harsh reality, and they're used to it. But some of them are not. Some of them are new and really young and here in New York for the first time. How long have you been in New York? Sorry? How long? Oh, yeah. Like two weeks. Okay. So we try to make them feel like they go through the same process as everyone else. But, you know, there's decisions being made the minute they walk in the door. She is amazing. Middle part. Yeah. There is a certain unspoken language that goes on between all of us when we see somebody we would really like in the show and a certain nod or a certain glance or a certain grimace. Cute. Really cute. Every designer will tell you that they have muses who have been models or who are models. It's kind of nice to work over a few seasons with these girls because they, they become a part of our story. <laughs> Oh, Salamia. She's kind of amused. She has poise and elegance and humour, and she's quite nuts. And <laughs> we, so we just like having her around. She's yeah, a really great energy. She has a really good eye as well. She'll tell us when she likes a piece of clothing. She'll tell us when she doesn't. So she's very reliable. We had a very firm notion of what the hair was going to be and all of a sudden we had a battalion of girls come in with like long, thick, incredible, healthy hair. And strangely it actually feels more like the reference point for the collection which is the Cuban-American artist Ana Mangetta. There's a certain austerity that we find beautiful in women. Austere is the quality of those artists. They're just diligent and committed to what they do. Women who pulled their hair into a ponytail, washed their face and went out to a day of work. That's the sort of woman we surround ourselves with. That's who our mothers are. The woman we're attracted to and the woman that is the ideal tone woman.